Hello team, Chelsea's Tech 874. Uh, we're out in uh, Bartlett. Homeowners looking to get a full system here. Uh, existing is about 12 years old, green brand, 80% efficiency, 17-inch uh, cabinet, and 100,000 BTU. Your return drop is coming in at 24 by 8. Existing filter in there is 1625 by 1, but um, it's meant to be a media, a media filter, but homeowners happy with the 1-inch filter as well. Your supply, your main supply trunk here is coming in at 20 by 16, uh, but there are a couple of trunks here, kind of roughly about 8 inches, and uh, most likely on the other side as well. So some things to keep in mind. Uh, my understanding is this pitch on this water heater, the flue is not correct. It needs to be more of an angle. That's based off of some of our other technicians that have already been out here. Um, so if we can just update that as well. And yep. existing flue, you can kind of see uh, the damage that's already occurred. And then um, I'm gonna put the spotlight on there to kind of show you all the erosion that's built up over time. So we're looking to replace this whole yeah, thing sure, yeah. up into that, where it connects to that main flue to the roof. So we're talking about possibly um, five to six feet of the six inch over there, coming up to about here, and then maybe about three to four feet uh, for the four inch over here. And then this guy, maybe about th two to three feet uh, over here, and that's about a three and a half inch um, radius on that flue. Okay, and uh, what else? Electric panel is right over there. Uh, square D, double pull, 40 amps, and there's two slots in the bottom uh, as spares, and then humidifier. There was an existing humidifier back there. It's not there anymore. You can kind of see a little bit of the piece that was connected. And it comes through here and it stops right there. But we have your copper pipes that you can connect to over here. So an angle stop, uh, assuming we can work off the existing line. And then where the humidifier goes, it used to be behind this. There, as you can see from here, there is no real clear path to get to the back end. But there is a little bit of a crawl space that you can uh, crawl through to get to the back area there. You do have to be quite slim to squeeze through. Otherwise, the humidifier can probably go to, on the return here, which might be uh, easier. Uh, I will let you, the install team, make that decision on the day of. And as I step back, here's your best path of access, and that'll take you to the first floor, and that will should uh, get you to the front door, or maybe the patio door. So garage is right to the okay. right there, too, if they wanted to come. So to that's even better. So garage to the right. Okay, so that'll be the best path of access to get into the uh, the furnace room. And did I miss anything? No, I think that's it. Okay, I, think I believe that, we did cover good. everything, yeah. and uh, that's about it. Drywall ceiling. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, that part we'll figure out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, cool. All right, Chelsea Tech 874 out.